Welcome to Market Talk Weekly, discussing sales and marketing techniques to help you compete in the real estate market. We're here week after week to educate, inform, and encourage real estate professionals. And now, here's your host, real estate broker, instructor, and coach, Brian Ross. In the competitive world of real estate sales, first impressions are critical. Whether you're meeting with a potential client or attending a networking event, your peers can make or break a deal. That's why it's important to know how to dress for success. So let me ask you, when you got up today, what did your clothes say about you? If you grabbed a wrinkled t-shirt, threw on some shorts and flip-flops, you know what you're telling the world, right? You're telling them you're lounging and you're just ready for a relaxing day. You're not working. Look, what you wear says a lot about you and like it or not, people make a snap judgment about who you are based on how you look. You should be putting as much energy into dressing professionally as you do as prospecting. Now, some of you are probably saying, look here, I know how to dress myself. I don't need a lecture. And that might be true, but if your go-to style includes jeans or t-shirts or flip-flops or any other article of clothing you like to wear on a daily basis because it's just comfortable over being professional, then you really need to listen to this podcast. All right, if you're still listening to the podcast, I want to tell you that dressing professionally isn't hard. And there are just two basic styles you need to be filling your closet up with. And that's business casual and business professional. So business professional is just basically more formal, like with suits and ties, dress shoes, and then business casual is a little bit more relaxed style with khakis and some college shirts and some loafers. Now, knowing when to wear each style is important too. For example, if you're meeting with a high-powered CEO, you want to dress in business professional attire to convey a serious and professional demeanor. On the other hand, if you're attending a casual network event, business casual is probably going to be more appropriate to convey a friendly and much more approachable demeanor. It's important to note that both styles can say a lot about the person wearing them. A business professional attire can convey a sense of authority, <laughs> confidence, and attention to detail, where business casual can convey a sense of approachability, friendliness, and adaptability. Now, I'm sure I don't have to tell you what it feels like to dress up really nice and have a nice suit on and present yourself as a professional, whatever the venue might be. You feel empowered. You feel good about yourself, especially when clothes fit well. Now, just a sidebar note, we have a tendency, we meaning Human beings have a tendency to dress inappropriately based on our own self-image. For instance, if I think that I am overweight, I have a tendency to buy clothes that are too big for me, and I look frumpy. Now, I've done it. I'm sure you've probably done it. If you don't deal with being uh, overweight, maybe you deal with being sk too skinny. That's a, that's a real thing, I heard. <laughs> or if you are like, have a nice physique, you do a lot of work on your body, you know, working out in the gym, you may want to go really tight and show off those biceps. And no, stick to the appropriate size for your body type. If you are a 42 regular for a jacket, wear a 42 regular. Don't wear a 44 regular because you think you've got a big belly and you want to cover it up. Wear the correct size clothes. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go and get professionally measured and have clothes uh, specially made for you. That's not what I'm saying. 
What I'm saying is, is that when you go to the rack, wherever store it is, J.C. Penney's, Macy's, whatever it might be, just find the clothes that fit correctly. Now, I talked a little bit about, you know, that wrinkled shirt and the flip-flops and everything. You know, I remember this guy came into our office. He was a real estate agent, I mean, for a minute. Uh, it was like three years ago he came in, and then the guy was built nice. He had, a, you know, he had some big muscles, and you could tell this guy worked out all the time. But, man, this dude wore uh, tank tops and shorts all the time. And it was just very unprofessional. I mean, he didn't realize that he was just putting off a bad vibe and telling the world he just wasn't a professional real estate agent. People want to work with professionals. You know, if somebody's buying a house or selling their house and five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars, or I don't care if it's a hundred thousand dollars, when it's your house and you're selling it, you want the right agent, somebody who's serious, somebody who knows what they're doing, a professional real estate agent. Have I ever shown up and not been in business, at least casual? Yes, full disclosure, of course I have. However, I have never, ever, ever gone on a listing appointment or met a client the very first time. I, what I'm talking about is after I've build a relationship with them, I've built trust, they know I'm a professional, they call me up one afternoon, they want to see something right then, and I've got the time, and you know, maybe I was out having dinner with a family, or hiking, or at the lake or something, and I say, yeah, I'll be there, and I show up, because I'm going straight from whatever I'm doing, right there, and it's after business hours, and they understand that, because they know that I'm just doing what I can do to to make sure that they can see that house and they get it. But I would never, ever, ever show up on a first appointment, second appointment, third appointment, until I really build trust with people without being at least in business casual. Now, I'm going to tell you, as a real estate residential sales agent, business casual is probably going to be okay most of the time. If you're an agent selling commercial real estate or you're breaking into commercial real estate, you really need to go to business professional. You really do because you're working with business owners or investors, and there's a little bit of a higher expectation there. Addressing for success is an important part of being successful in real estate. By knowing when to wear business professional and business casual, Understand what each style says about you and avoiding clothes that distract from professional image, you can make a positive impression and gain a good reputation in the real estate industry as a professional real estate salesperson. So go ahead and dress for success. You're going to feel better, you're going to look better, and you're going to do better. Thanks for listening to another episode of Market Talk Weekly. Visit our website at markettalkweekly.com for more real estate resources. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of Market Talk Weekly.